Hi, I'm Jeff, an engineer with Borderland Network Security, and today we're going to discuss and perform a minor upgrade on Aperture 5. If you have any questions or concerns about this process, or even something outside the scope of this video, I invite you to call me at 760-736-8100. Okay, here we have the Aperture 5 Core Console that we're gonna upgrade. We'll notice the version that we're currently running up in the top corner, and this video would actually be applicable for upgrading any version that's a 5X version. If you're upgrading a 4.7, it's gonna be a bit of a different process. You're gonna actually have to run a conversion tool to import your various backups. That can be covered in another uh, video. However, I would highly recommend when you're doing something like that, that you would reach out to us and we can walk you through it and explain the various caveats and things that you could run into. But for this video, we're gonna do a quick upgrade and we're gonna change it from 5.3.1, the subversion. We're gonna upgrade that part there. But before we actually proceed with the upgrade, one of the key things we need to make sure we do is go over to the machine tabs on the core and take any agents that are currently in active protection mode and we're gonna come over here and we're gonna pause their protection. Now this is necessary because if a backup were to attempt to occur at the same time as we're doing the upgrade and trying to stop services, that backup could become corrupt and that's an issue that we don't want to have. So I'm gonna tell it here, I'm gonna pause protection until I actually resume it, which will be after the upgrade. Now that all of my machines have been paused in the protection, I'm done with my console window and I can actually close it. And I need to go over into the services and I need to stop the actual Aperture core service. So I'll stop that here. Once we actually have successfully stopped the core service, we can actually now begin the installer. So I have it already pre-downloaded here with the updated version. So I'll go ahead and launch the installer. And while it's launching, one of the core things that you need to note is whenever you upgrade the core, you also need to upgrade, upgrade your various agents out there. You wanna make sure that the agent and the core are running on the same version number. If they're not, you can actually have commands sent either from the core to the agent or vice versa, which it may not understand due to new technologies or new features that are coming out. So it's one of those things that you wanna keep in mind when you're upgrading. You wanna upgrade all of them at the same time. You'll notice that once we've launched the installer, this is the standard installer for the product. It's automatically detected that this machine has an instance of the core already on it, and it can tell me the version number, and it's asking me if I want to actually perform the upgrade, to which, of course, I'm gonna click yes. And once we've agreed to actually perform the upgrade, it's gonna launch the installer. It's gonna extract some installation files in preparation for performing the upgrade. So depending on your server and the available resources that it may have, this procedure may take just a matter of a couple of minutes or uh, 10, 15 minutes. It's just gonna really depend on your server and what's on there. Uh, and also from what version to what version you're going from, if it has more files to update or not. So here we've completed with our upgrade. I'm going to go ahead and click finish here. Now that we've finished, I wanna go ahead and open it up and verify that everything still seems to be working. And then also lastly, we need to make sure that I resume protection on that machine in which I had paused protection initially. Now keep in mind the first time that you start the actual core console on the web page after either a reboot or an upgrade or initial install, it will take a moment for it to actually come up as it's starting some background services. It's still in the process of caching some of the databases and getting the repository and everything in sync. Once it does come up, we're able to see here up in our top corner that our version has in fact been upgraded. And so I at this point can now come over to the machines tab. And while on the machines tab, I can check the box for Archon 2, go over to actions and tell it on protection to resume protection. And of course, I wanna tell it yes. And now protection resumed. My machine is up and running again. The upgrade has completed successfully and it should be off and running. I appreciate your time and thank you for watching my video. 
I hope that it's been helpful and has provided some assistance in your future upgrades. If you do have any questions or concerns, please, I invite you, give me a call. 760-736-8100. Either myself or one of my colleagues would be more than happy to assist you. I hope you have a wonderful day.